question you have to answer is do i love the lord and there are clear indices if and when you love the lord the bible does not leave you in the dark there are proofs that you love the lord john 14 21 john 14 21 then we'll jump to 23 he that hath my commandments and keepeth them he it is that loveth me and he that loveth me shall be loved of my father and i will love him and manifest myself to him 23 jesus answered and said unto him if a man love me he will keep my words and my father will love him and we will come to him and make our abode with him first john chapter 2 from verse 15 to 17 first john chapter 2 from verse 15 love not the world aha uh -huh. neither the things that are in the world the word love there comes from the word eros eros an ungodly affinity a passion and a drive for the things of this world that becomes higher than your pursuit of god to love not the world does not mean you will not have the blessings he made all things richly even for us to enjoy but he says love not the world neither the things that are in the world if any man love the world whether you're a preacher whether you're a politician whether you're a businessman it doesn't matter who you are he says the love of the father is not in him then the next verse he categorizes everything that is in the world into three main categories for all that is in the world the lust of the flesh the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not in the father it's not of the father but is of the world verse 17 and the world passed away and the lost thereof but he that doeth the will of god abides forever lord i love you i love you he said, love is not an empty word i will have to see for god so loved the world he would have said lord world i love you while we are suffering but when he loved the world he gave and what he gave was his only can you give your only not your many when you get to a point where you can give your only you love god your only please hear me no matter what else you learn if your love for god does not supersede the obsession for pleasure and the obsession for convenience you cannot be mighty with god we live in a world where our obsession for convenience is greater than our love and our pursuit for god most believers complain because your love for jesus is not strong enough to sponsor and provide the staying power whether through storms through rain through whatever it is i'm busy i just got a promotion and i need to hurry up so you can pray you can fast you can study the word of god you can spend time with him something is wrong with your love life 